Okay, welcome back. This is part three, the final part in the series in working with Drone Link and creating autonomous maps with your DJI Mini 3 Pro. Okay, let's get started. So we're going back to, we're right here in Drone Deploy because we're using the free, um, there are 12 days left. Hopefully it won't ask us to upgrade to use certain features. Um, let's see, we're gonna create a new project. Um, create project here. And we're going to call it, let's call it um, soccer field, soccer field. Okay, uh, I'll just press continue. Um, manually capture media, standard. Okay, create a map, facade, corridor, panorama, video. Oh, interesting. Capture high video quality. Okay, uh, photo report. So we're going to actually upload which is right there see that okay new upload now before I select upload I'm gonna show you what I had done um, as you can see I created the file here called soccer field right there and as you can see it took 61 images even though it said it was going to take more um, but it did what it did okay each image is between five and six megabytes so let's close that out so, but I had taken these pictures from the drone. So you go into your drone and get your images, create a folder, put it in a folder, name it whatever you want. Okay, so if I click here, it should bring us back. Okay, choose to upload. You have JPEG, PEG, JPG, and etc. M M4, which is great. Have to experiment with video, see how that works out. All right, so we're going to go to our desktop. And if you're on a Mac, PC, you know how to navigate to your stuff soccer field press the first one and then scroll down to the bottom and then hold down the shift key so that they're all selected select open and look at that they all come they all came in um, map number one etc oh nice this has actually put it in sequence in order uh, which is actually pretty cool all right so then we just select start upload and this should take a little bit. So it's going to take three minutes for, to upload for you. It'll happen in real time. Um, I'll just scrub through it so that you can have the experience. And and uh, let's take it from there. All right. See you on the flip side. Great. So now it uploaded. Everything did what it needed to do. It took less than a minute. It all depends on your, your internet speed. Okay. Um, this is not a map of the field. This is somewhere else. All right. So it says processing. So now we just have to wait for it to do what it needs to do to work its magic. But let's see what those little buttons do right there. We don't want to delete it. All right, so let's just let it process. And when it's done, I will see you when that's done doing whatever it needs to do. All right, so while that's doing that, let's check out Maps Made Easy in the meantime. Maps Made Easy. No need to go to pricing. We can just sign in. I believe I already have an account. Remember me. Okay, so now we're in Maps Made Easy, so I can close that out. Just says welcome. Uh, let's see where this is processing with Drone Deploy. Still processing. Okay, so in the meantime, let's see how long. Uh, that's not the one we want. Okay, well, that's doing in the background. Ah, pending, recent. There are currently no pending maps to display. There are currently no maps to display all right that's fine because we don't have any all right so we're going to call this one uh dji specific classic workflow etc let's try this one first okay dji workflow since we did use dji okay i'm going to select the first one and then hold down the shift key and then huh doesn't let you choose multiple images. You gotta be kidding me. Maybe hold down command. Nope. Oh wow. Let's click show options. Custom file format. All files. Okay. Oh, that's a bummer. So already Maps Made Easy doesn't really have that fluid experience. Um, it's actually asking for all images. Let's click, I mean, for one image at a time. Select files to upload, drag and drop, and paste files. So you have the option from the Google Drive, Box, etc. Okay, let's try that again. Hold, usually you hold down the Shift key, 
right? And nope. Nope. Wow, oh, this really sucks. Ah, well, hopefully, hold on, I have an idea. If we take this and put it there, and then shrink this, if I can shrink it a little bit. Because there's no way, I mean, can you imagine if you have thousands of files? All right, so we're going to take the soccer field, put that there, and then hopefully, you know, just hopefully, if we do a select all, it'll let us drop all 61 images in there. Processing urge, oh, great, there we go. Oh my God. Um, how fast do you want it? Um, 3x, zero points, uh, expedited, 2x points, job time, normal, 1x, 24 hours. Gosh, I don't have, so this is gonna take 24 hours to compile this and turn it into a 3D map. But that's okay, you, could, you can shut off your computer or do whatever you need because remember, um, it, it, it's all done in the cloud. So there is no uh, stationary software on your computer or, or, or anything running local. So uh, output, output options, um, let's do full, oh, okay, force paid points. So you see, I wanted 3D. Um, full 3D processing is only available on jobs with paid, with pay as you go points. Select the images, then come back. Ah, bummer. All right, so we get to choose a flat over map overlay. So it's not really free. It, it's free, it's like free ringtones, except 99 cents each, you have to pay for them. All right, so let's see. Um, I guess we could just choose. Hmm. So either way, you're gonna have to pay. See, 12 hours times two points, zero hours. I wonder what that spits out, right? course if it's free if you have to ask it's probably gonna be something crappy all right so on that note um, and you see it, it wants you to decide verif name and verify data uh, I approve this message um, outputs will expire then we already did that we already selected our images map name we're gonna call this uh, soccer Field. I confirm all up all images okay um, you have enough points to process up to nine. Yeah, I have enough points to process images, but I can't do a 3D, which is a bummer. So yeah, I don't even know. I'd rather um, uh, use my points to create something, right? Um, we already uploaded the files. Um, drag or drop, copy and paste. Uh, minimum of 20 images. Wow, bummer. So look. You have enough points to process up to 948 images, but there's a minimum of 20 images. Remember to include, this doesn't make any sense. All right, um, select files to upload. Select the images you would like to include for this job. I just did. So maps made easy may not be the way to go. Let's see if what happens if I select all of them. Oh, I can select all of them. Open. Oh, nice. Look at that. That's where we were today. This is great. Um, I guess we just 61. Upload all. There's no need to upload more since we didn't have that many. The, remember, this depends. The speed of this project depends on the speed of your internet. So just make sure you have fast internet or you can go to where the internet is faster. Um, you decide, only you know what you have. Uh, you could always do a speed test, uh, but this is pretty good for me. Um, so I'm gonna see what that's doing. Let's see what drone deploy is doing. It's still processing. It's possible that it may take up to 48 hours, um, but thankfully, Maps Made Easy is running in the other background. All right, so let's see this. Well, this said zero hours. I don't even know what that means. Like probably the quality of the work, um, but it's too bad that you can't get 3D. I might, I might, I might um, check out the pricing, right? And see what, um, what it'll actually cost. So those are all the points, which is really nice. This was the pattern or flu. Whoops, map, your map hasn't started yet. It isn't due to start for a while, but we will try to get it going sooner if we can. 
Fingers course start date March. Oh, bummer. Look at that. So due to start May 3rd, 930 p.m. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, um, soccer field pending shareable URL, which is great. And let's see, enable address. So this is just some other basic stuff. Job urgency is normal. Wow. So I might have to create another job and you know, because I, this is just going to take some to time. We have all the time, but I just didn't realize that if you put zero or zero for zero urgency, basically, um, you know, it is what it is. All right, so I'm just going to pause this and we'll get back to it when it's ready to go. And in the meantime, I'll create another one. Maybe I'll check out what it costs to to do a uh, paid version so that I could um, create a 3D map, right? Okay, so this is great. Um, maps made easy. We'll send you an email. Even though um, it says it's going to take X amount of time to process, don't believe everything you see because when you click on the link, it looks like it's going to be ready later on tonight. So we'll be able to check it out. Um, that's the ETA. So the time now is over here at 9.42. So, you know, possibly, thir possibly 30 minutes, you know. Uh, as for the other one, the uh, drone deploy, that's, uh, that's still processing. Let's click refresh. So um, even though drone deploy is cheaper, um, the uh, other app will send you or the other the other company um, so so drone deploy doesn't send an email confirmation telling you how much time you have left but maps made easy does uh, and it is the cheaper version which is kind of nice you would think for uh, the pricing structure that they charge with drone deploy at three something that you'd get you know uh, an email notification telling you how much uh, time is left um, so uh, that was our start time so roughly about 45 minutes, which isn't so bad. I don't know what that is, but trim with polygon tool. I click on the details. Um, map trimming. Mm, process has, oh, that's nice. Process has full 3D with texture. Oh, I like that. Oh, except I can select it because probably, uh, you know, we're not on the paid version, um, which is nice. It would be nice. Let's see what we get there. Just some trimming. Uh, this is, you know, these these are all a la carte stuff. Uh, draw big. All okay, so this just, just helps you out there. All right, so let's just see what happens. Let's go back here to the processing menu. Press refresh. Um, 1018. So I'll see you guys at 1018. All right, this is great. So it looks like uh, no pending uploads. Fly a drone to collect media or upload existing media. So it looks like we're good to go. I'll just leave that there because I'm not sure what that'll do. So we'll just go back to drone deploy. Go back to our projects. Nice, and there it is, there's Soccer Field. So this is really nice. This is, remember, this is the free trial of Drone Deploy, okay? See right there, Drone Deploy expires in 12 days. I mean, you could always, um, depending on the features that you want uh, that are included in the free trial, you know, you could just get an, another email account and do that. All right, so, and let's see what happens when we click on Soccer Field. Wow, there it is, that's really cool. There's the map. Um, we pieced it together, right? I wonder if it'll let us, you just have little things there. I can move it around. Um, it did cut that off, which is really weird because considering it was included in our uh, maps, but it doesn't seem to have included it in the, um, in the, uh, yeah, it should be there. Or anyway, let's see what happens when we click on 3D with that load oh wow this is really cool all right so oh wow this is really nice check that out there's the pool there's the fence um you know there's that oh this is really nice um so it does work to some extent as you can see uh there is a part missing we've got the parking lot um it captured yeah and we did include the parking lot and we did include the field so I'm not sure why it cut that off. Um, maybe I'll have to run it again. 
um, but the images were there as you saw but for some reason uh, let's see what this button does this is a uh, floor plan um, of course we don't need that uh, upload your floor plan which is really cool sometimes in real estate there are floor plans so yeah um, this is impressive I have to say a little disappointing because it didn't um, you know capture uh, the rest of the images who knows maybe I will um, try it again um, but this is pretty spot-on for 3d as you can see got the field in the back um, I wonder if there's a button you can press to say I'm not happy with my see it got 61 photos and um, you know it's possible that maybe it missed it um, because if you recall the um, drone links now it's over there interesting it's missing the part of the parking lot that's over there on that side which would be another goalie area um, which would be something like that oh yeah there it is it didn't piece it together though so I'm not sure what to do to piece it together um, but maybe I have to run it again uh, but that was pretty fast uh, let me just see if I can go back now. How do I? Oh, I guess you just close the image. So the image is there. Uh, why it didn't do it, I don't know, but that's okay. You know, I'm able to find it. Maybe there's a way to piece it back together. You know, as long as you know the area. I, I mean, I know this area really well. That's why I was able to find the image really fast because, you know, I've been here hundreds of times. But as long as you know the image is there, you know you took it, then it's just a matter of troubleshooting or maybe contacting support and saying, hey, look, you know, I can't wait another 24 hours. It didn't process this. So that's this. So we know that that works. And this is just phenomenal. Let me just go back here. Uh, you know, I really love this, this 3D. Um, and, oh, wow. And check this out. Um, if I click there there let's close the X um, look like there was a way to download it we need you there come on guy you gotta get more all right so let's see what happens download media let's see what that does so it, oh it just downloads that JPEG oh that's not bad it downloaded you know that particular media so let's say if you want to download that media edit it and probably do it again um, Let's see what happens if we click on 3D. Uh, here's our 3D model. Uh, you can choose to share, explore, upload. Let's see what options we have here. Um, yeah, see, it's all there. It just didn't piece them all together. That's okay, you know. Um, remember, this is the free version. Uh, let's see what happens when we click share. Invite to project, users, etc. Um, that's, uh, I didn't want to stop recording. Just wasn't sure. I wanted to export this to see. We have new upload, report, fly, etc. All right, so let's check on the other one. Um, so we know this is done. We can close this and we can open it at any time when we go back. I was con think I was considering upgrading to the five dollar plan, but I'm glad I didn't because, as you can see, there are some glitches. But let's go back to drone deploy and um, see where we are here. Go here, my projects, and of course they're all there. So let's go back to maps made easy. Okay, of course it'll bring us the pricing. We don't want that. Go to dashboard. Ah. Soccer field, nice. All right, looks like it finished. It, it ran its course up. Oh, same thing, something similar. So there's something um, glitchy where, as you can see, two different platforms are used where it's not just doing it with the field. Now, Maps Made Easy is great, but as you can see, uh, you know, I clicked on my project and I just want to go straight to 3D. So. You can click view full screen, a lot of metrics happening, and, and you know, most of the times it's intuitive, you know what you want. Uh, here go the file full resolution, download seven megabytes, um, geo tiff. Um, let's see if we can find 3D, 3D. Uh, process, nope. See, maps made easy, process full 3D, no. So, uh, well, we try, let's see what happens when it downloads that file should download pretty fast because I have 
uh, fast internet, but really disappointing. Ah, you see, there you go. Uh, let's see what happens when we pre uh, 3D preview, online preview, low resolution. Oh, look, and AV has an embed for the uh, URL. Let's click that while the other one's downloading. This one's loading. Remember, this is Maps Made Easy. Okay. Let's click. Oh, yeah, not bad. We got the full. This one's great because, look, Maps Made Easy did the full 3D resolution without losing any of the images. Look at that. You got the trees. You got the fence. This is pretty cool. Not bad. So you could always open up a new email address. You know, call it schmo joe at gmail.com you know just to continue using the free until you start making money um you know if, if but if someone wants uh, other a la carte features they're gonna have to upgrade it even captured the mountains look at that amazing this is just oh the pool this is just phenomenal um you know this we didn't include this which is fine right but look at that this is just and remember, this has a URL, so you could send the URL to the client. I wouldn't recommend selling, sending the URL because if they have someone really savvy in the graphics department, they could probably rip it, you know? And then, um, and remember, this is low resolution, the highs you have to pay for. But, you know, any anyone uh, scrupulous will, will, will can turn this into something and then you get don't get paid. So, you know, you could always copyright it so that they can't use it like put it like a logo or something across it um, or whatever but this is just phenomenal um this is just great okay so let's go back so this is remember maps made easy okay drone deploy uh, we'll just close this one out drone deploy worked really well drone deploy i liked because they gave us the um, full 3D interface, like it's really rich graphics, but it cut off the field. Why, I don't know. Look at that. See how the parking lot is? Really nice. Now imagine if this was the paid version, um, what we'd be getting. But this is just to give you a gist. You know, you decide what's what you want. We have the export here, uh, over here on the, remember this is drone deploy. Let's see what happens when we click export. Um, save time with workflows. We don't really, we just want, you know, we just want to, just want an export. So you have manual, PDF, uh, GeoTIFF, JPEG, cloud, etc. digital uh, terrain model, 3D model. Yes. Oh, nice. So maybe you'll let us, uh, but then it's going to download it as this file. So you, I don't know if I have the software for that, but um, emails, which are there. Uh, I guess you can choose emails. Let's try hello at dot com. It'll send it to both, but this one will come to my computer. And let's see, export. The yeah, export is being processed. And that's it. Remember, we just downloaded one of these files earlier. Let's see what we have here. See what it gave us. Oh, nice. Soccer field has a TIFF. Well, it's not bad, you know, it's not 3D, but you know, it works. Cut that part off. Where's my parking lot? Um, so there you have it. You decide which one you like. Um, I personally do like the way the uh, uh, Maps Made Easy had done it for you. Uh, drone Deploy was great because it's a really rich environment, uh, but Unfortunately, let's go back to our dashboard. Soccer field. Something else was pending, though. Uh, there, oh, nothing is pending. Okay. Mm. We clicked here. Um, private 3D, public 3D view. So, you know, we got some rich graphics here, more in, more of an interface with Maps Made Easy, which was great. It didn't uh, jinx us, it processed it fully. So there was no second guessing. Uh, we know it would be nice if it was a rich text format, but it is what it is and you get what you pay for. And that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you in understanding how to do telemetry maps and um, this, 
understand the process and how to capture it with your drone and hopefully this will uh, steer you in the right direction when it comes to your future when it come when flying your drone and if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos and I'll see you all next time.